So the corridor, it's on 101 Street. We start at 103A Avenue and, um, and go all the way to 111th Avenue. A total of nine intersections have been outfit with uh, camera technology um, that is adaptive. We are testing this new system in Canada for the first time. And what adaptive traffic signals will do is um, they will allow us to change traffic signals relative to the variable traffic that, that we see in this particular corridor. This is actually a really interesting corridor. Since the opening of the arena, we're looking at hockey season right now and, uh, and a lot of our concert events. This particular corridor sees a lot of variable traffic patterns where um, a lot of our corridors around the city see some pretty st like steady and static uh, travel patterns throughout the day. Uh, this corridor will allow us the opportunity to test this new technology to see how effective it is in moving uh, people. There are two things that we're testing actually particularly at this intersection. Uh, so there are cameras uh, positioned into the intersections and what those cameras are doing, they're measuring vehicle volumes, they're, they're measuring delay, they're measuring uh, traffic queued lengths and they're making adjustments. What they're also doing is uh, we actually have a thermal pedestrian detection system at the intersection behind me. And uh, what that is doing is it's, it's actually measuring how many pedestrians are queued and waiting and it's making those adjustments relative to travel. We're trying to test to see how effective an adaptive system is in making those changes on the fly. Again, a lot of our, um, a lot of our travel patterns within the downtown are, are very predictable. Um, we see a pretty steady AM um, travel peak and a pretty steady PM travel peak, but this is going to give us some, a better opportunity to, to test how responsive this system can be.